morning folks. Here we are at the Karanup Waters Resort Caravan Park. We've got our <coughs> Jayco Cross Track all set up. It's just pretty packed here. It's Easter holidays or Easter weekend as well. Easter Monday in fact. Anyway, I just wanted to um, share a few short little things uh, about our trip and just what goes on in the background behind the scenes and what's involved in us as a family going on a fairly extensive holiday like the one that we are currently embarking on. So as you know, Lockie and I, we drove over from Toowoomba. Wasn't short of a few little challenges and issues along the way. Uh, now, you guys have probably know Shelly, or met Shelly, but this is Shelly in the background here doing her uh, eating some toast and that. So, um, so as you know, Shelly has, uh, five years ago, Shelly was diagnosed with uh, kidney failure and uh more than that more than that yeah like back in the day back in the day like this is the eighth year now oh okay yeah so yeah yeah the time more goes quick so so eight years eight years, eight years ago yeah we moved well not here we're in perth no, we're in, well so yeah eight years ago then um she was diagnosed with kidney failure and so um, that took a bit of a turn uh, in our life, our lives. Um, it affected each one of us differently, and of course we're not. Um, and of course Shelley herself. So uh, the reason for this video that I'm making is that it's it's an encouragement to you guys, because I'm sure there's someone uh, that might be watching that has medical ailments or or reasons why it makes going on a holiday difficult. So we were determined uh, that we were all going to be involved in this quite extensive or epic uh, trip. So um, Shelly, uh, obviously, as you know, without dialysis, uh, uh, life-saving dialysis, we'll, we'll say, is that probably only go for about a week, I think it is, isn't it, Shelly? About a yeah. week? You get a week without... Yeah, a couple of weeks, probably, then I... And then, um, well, yeah. We're trying to... <laughs> That was serious. I'm, that try was serious. I'm trying to be a bit serious here. <laughs> Sorry. If you can't muck around or can't be, if joke. you can't have a bit of a joke with stuff like this, then you know. So, what I'm saying is that yeah. So that's why this this plan, this trip was planned uh, around. Some of it was around Shelley being able to get dialysis, and it was probably probably eight months ago we started looking at planning the trip. Um, so. In effect, what, happen, what, what happens is, is that Shelly, she's flown over, and as much as she would have loved to be on the road trip, we probably would have only got as far as about Adelaide, um, because the most that Shelly can go for without dialysis is, uh, well, pretty much three, yeah, three days. I mean, you've got to be half sensible, don't you? Is that, you know, you're stuck in the middle of um, Euclid or somewhere like that, and we have a, a run into some um, problems. What do you, I mean, what do you do? You, you're so far from medical, treatment that um, you would be a bit a bit crazy to, to do that we tossed up you know do we go to Adelaide and Shelley get styluses in Adelaide and then flies back um, over from Adelaide but yeah it wasn't really going to work so uh, we we all we all got the best of this kind of a holiday Shelley's flying over with Chloe I've had the time with Lachlan driving over um, I'll get some time with Joshua and Chloe uh, on the next part of the, the trip and so going back to what this video is about. So today, uh, Shelley we is going in, uh, going to Midland to do dialysis. So she's a bit nervous. It's a, a new place, isn't it? All different um, people, procedures, all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, so we're doing that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for Shelley. So uh, that just that's just part of what we do, part of our uh, holiday. Um, you know what, what you have to do. So, Hello. Found it, eh? Found it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be right now. Eh? Yeah. So. <laughs> Tell what you're going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Well, yeah. I was just done. Come on. Yeah. See in five hours, or four hours, wherever it is. <laughs> That's right. So we have just made it, made it a, a part of it. Uh, to be able to do this, so um, you guys can do it 
if there's any whatever's going on uh, that makes it hard for you guys to get out and have a holiday, you just gotta I don't know, you just gotta make it happen, and um, that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna show you a little bit of, of that side of it, um, the, the background or the I don't know behind the scenes, I suppose, to um, you know having a bit of a holiday in in Perth, and uh, just show you what that that side of it is all about, and and I suppose the the effort that where I'm more than happy to go to to just to make make Shelley part of um, part of this. I think poor Shelley's feeling a bit nervous, which you would. Strange place. So um, anyway, she wanted to be uh, just leave her there and get the job done, I suppose. And I'll come back and get her in um, four or five hours. So. Uh, we're going to go and uh, get this car washed, pick up Chloe. We might go into Perth City and have a bit of a, a bit of a looky around. And that, see how the day goes. Yeah, oh, bright light. Yeah, so there you have it. That's what uh, that's what uh, the I don't know the background or the behind the scenes. And look, just on a personal note, um, I just want to say that. Um, the, the people that are, you know, part of the situation, um, not taking it away from Shelley, who's the one that's actually going through it all. But you know, when we first found out about it, we, uh, well, I had a few, you know, a few dark moments there for the first uh, 12 months, I suppose, just computing it all in your head and everything that's going on. And the kids were younger, so. Um, but we're on the other side of that now. We're just. We're just doing life, and that's why we're doing this trip. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just what you've got to do. And we're hoping for a transplant. That's the well, it's not the be all and end all because that comes with its own problems. But um, the the point I'm making is that while you've still got some health left, you just got to get out. It might not be travelling that you're into. You might it might be just something else that you've always thought about in life that you want to do and you need some some health to do that uh now's the time to go and just to go and uh do that because i know some people wait till they're 60 70 whatever or when that retirement age is and uh they find that their health's just not where it would be needed to be to go and do the things they want to do so i reckon make it happen now if you can work it out work out a way to make the things that you want to do make them happen now while you can and uh, that's what we're doing right now we've got all the kids together and they're all part of this at different stages aren't they Shelley and uh, yep. I suppose it's a bit of a if you use the word blessing it's a bit of a blessing really isn't it that um, the kids can be part of it still yeah, at this, this age at their age and they want to be part yep. of it so anyway we're going to show you we're just going to show you um, you know a little bit of the, pro the process I suppose for Shelley going we're going to a new place to get Dialysis is done and we'll get well folks thanks for uh, watching another episode of Prado what you out of here look I just wanted to show you some of the behind the scenes stuff that has gone on in order to uh, get this epic trip going and just um, you know what it's like uh, to have things you know in your family or or um, that can you know disable you from living your dreams and that's part of the motto for Prado 150 out of here is that we are out of here no matter what it takes no matter what we have to do and this part of it is is obviously a, a, a bit of a uh, part of you know what we do us as a family and we just wanted to share that with you and mainly for an encouragement because you know, um, we try and work work around it, and we make the most of, of life with with uh, with this going on in in the background for you know for a family member for Shelley in this case, and so you, you know we've learnt to get get around it, and life doesn't stop, and uh, yeah. So hopefully it's been an encouragement for you if 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 you guys are in a bit of a situation like that, and. I know not every medical situation 
uh, can allow you to get out and, and do things and we completely understand that um, but we're, we're making the most of uh, what we have and uh, for Shelley mainly as well so it's been absolutely awesome that Shelley was uh, you know could be part of uh, part of this epic epic trip so anyway leave us a, a comment let us know what you what you thought it's just a bit of sharing our our life or experiences our heart whatever however you want to say that uh, with you guys and um, give us a like if you if you thought that the this episode was okay and of course hit that subscribe button we'd love love you to hit that subscribe button many more episodes uh, ahead and uh, stay tuned the next one is uh, Rottnest Island so we spend a day at Rottnest Island and we give you a few different point of views on that so uh, I look forward to uh, you guys uh, being a part of that so uh, once again Prado 150 out of here until next time How was the bus ride, mate? Oh, excellent. Yeah, my legs didn't have to move at all. Yeah. How you going, walkers? <laughs> <laughs>